to position the machine. First ensure all of the adapters and stabilizers are removed. Move the first dynamometer stop to position Q on the white scale. Now move the second stop to position T on the green scale. Now collect the adapters and stabilizers for this position. We will need the wrist shoulder adapter, elbow stabilizer pad, and the footrest. The pillow may be required for comfort. Now adjust the chair rotation. Lift a locking handle and rotate the chair. Rotate the chair to 37 degrees on the green scale. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. The chair foreaft is altered by raising either locking handle, then slide the chair bottom forwards or backwards. Adjust the chair foreaft to position 15. Lower the locking handle to secure. Set the chair back translation by winding the handle. Adjust the chair back translation to position 0. Set the seat to the down position by lifting the seat and releasing the lock. To set the chair back angle lift a locking handle and adjust the chair back. Adjust the chair back angle to 0 degrees. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Now set the dynamometer tilt. Release the locking handle then change. Adjust the tilt angle to 0 degrees. Lock by tightening the handle. The dynamometer height and rotation are adjusted together. Lift a locking handle to release. Rotate the dynamometer to 37 degrees on the green scale, whilst also adjusting the height to position 5. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Finally position the monorail, by pressing the kickboard, and sliding the chair to position 57. Install the elbow stabilizer pad onto the short end of the input arm first. Line up the screw with the groove and insert. Secure with the locking screw. Then install the wrist shoulder adapter into the long end of the input arm. Ensure the handle faces away from the dynamometer face. Pull the locking pin to allow full installation. Secure with the locking screw. Move the handle to position 109. Next install the footrest into the chair using tube number 2. Pull the locking pin to allow full installation. Secure with the locking screw. Place the pillow on the chair if required. Once the norm is positioned, ask the subject to lie on the chair. Now position the hand grip. Loosen the screw and slide to a comfortable position for the subject. Secure using the screw. Ensure the elbow engages with the stabilizer pad by adjusting the monorail. Now the axis of rotation needs to be set. With the forearm parallel to the input arm, the axis of rotation will be set and maintained by the elbow stabilizer pad. The dynamometer height may need adjustments to achieve the alignment, as may the foreaft position, to ensure the shoulder is at 90 degrees abduction. Now check the axis of rotation. Before beginning the test secure the forearm strap. To hold the elbow into the stabilizer. The test is ready to begin.